extending the storage capabilities and resiliency of your ZeroStack solution, utilizing a nimble storage array has never been easier. With our built-in integration, adding additional storage to the environment is a snap. Here, we'll demonstrate just how easy it is. First, let's go to the storage link located inside of the planning pane. Next, we'll create an external storage pool. From the drop-down list, select Nimble Storage. This brings up specific entries that you can put information in to configure the array. Please enter the name of the storage pool that you're creating for the Nimble Storage Array, its IP address, and credentials needed to control the array. You also have the ability to trigger advanced features such as deduplication and performance QoS. When completed, you'll see the newly formed storage pool created with the Nimble Storage alongside the other standard storage pools. Congratulations! Now we've created our very first storage pool from Nimble Storage inside of ZeroStack. Now it's time to create a volume object and examine some of the properties that we can tune in it. First, navigate to an appropriate business unit and project so we can create our volume. Next, in the Workflow buttons above, click on Block Storage to reveal the Volume window. Now you can click on the Create Volume button, which will bring up the dialog box to create new volumes. Here, you can adjust parameters such as the volume name, the size, and of special importance to us, the volume type. Here's where all of the volume storage pools are. We can select the one we created, specifically designed for Nimble Storage. We can also adjust the size of the volume if we wish. When we click Apply, we can create the volume and examine its properties. You still have the ability to use InfoSight to manage your Nimble Storage array and to view the volumes you've created through ZeroStack. By managing the data storage, you can visualize the volumes. Note that there's a unique serial number embedded in the name of the volume in the Nimble Storage Array that's put there by the ZeroStack solution. All areas of the storage are reviewable, just as if you created the volume natively on the storage array. After creating your Nimble Storage Pool on the ZeroStack solution, you can always go back in and edit some advanced features. Some of these features would be setting I.O. control to limit the amount of IOPS that a volume may deliver, turning on and off encryption, turning on or off deduplication, and also setting performance policies to match the application that will be running on the VM using that volume. We can also make changes to the volume to allow for clustering scenarios where multiple VMs are using the same volume. For the sake of security, please re-authenticate into the array and don't forget to save your changes. We have the ability to then go back into the Nimble Storage Array and ensure that the changes that we initiated in ZeroStack are in fact reflected on the array. Note the performance policy. Also, Note the access from multiple initiators has in fact been triggered. And the performance limit has carried over from the ZeroStack solution to the storage array. Combining ease of use and great feature set, ZeroStack and Nimble Storage are a great combination for your cloud data center.